Good evening there, welcome back to the channel. It is a warm summer night, it is August 11th. That could only mean one thing. Welcome to the Purse Heats Meet Your Shower Hunt. Let's go. Besides photography, my plan was also to film as many meteors as I could. Throughout the video, I'll update a meteor counter. How many will I catch? But first, let me explain my photography plan. So uh, we've already seen the first purse heats in the sky. It's not even astro dark yet, so that promises to be a really good night. Uh, tomorrow we also hope uh, to go to another location uh, which is a bit more dark, uh, somewhere uh, in Germany maybe. But uh, tonight we are focusing on uh, shooting here uh, in the Netherlands uh, to the radiant point. And that means uh, all the purse heats seem to originate from the radiant point. Uh, I'm looking to it right now. It's uh, just below Cassiopeia in the north of uh, Perseus. Um, so I'm just uh, going to put on my tracker and I'm going to make a base uh, tracked stack sky shot. So hopefully I can get also some details out of the north side of the Milky Way. And after that I'll just let my tracker run I think and I'm going to do shorter exposures at a higher ISO so that if a meteor strikes through my frame that uh, I capture more light. And the ISO I want to keep not super high so that if a really bright one strikes through I could capture maybe some green details so that the highlights won't be blown out. But you know uh, enough thinking the other guys are already shooting so it's uh, <laughs> time to set up my tracker. leveling head so that I can easily find my knobs. <laughs> no, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm using a leveling head so that I can just adjust my horizontal axis uh, to somewhere around Polaris and then uh, use the laser from the move should move star tracker to align to Polaris there. So I should be a little bit lower which is this knob <laughs> right here. All right, that's it. Laser off. So that uh, the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my timer thought he saw a green purse heat, but this was just my laser. <laughs> All right, good to go. I was looking forward to a slow and relaxed night of stargazing, but the universe had other plans. Okay, so uh, I have just uh, finished my uh, tracked uh, sky shots. I have done 20 minutes at one minute exposure, I think ISO 1600 f2.8. Uh, I've seen um, Andromeda, the Cassiopeia region, and uh, yeah, the Radiant is uh, well in frame. We haven't seen that many purse seats uh, in the meantime, just a couple which were out of frame. But we just got word from our uh, other Astro friends uh, from Katwijk that uh, the BZ is dropping and that means we could get some Aurora Borealis now. So I'm a bit in doubt, should I try to catch the Aurora or should I just let my camera running now to catch some meteors? But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Super interesting night at least. Lady Aurora didn't show up just yet, so we kept on scanning the skies for Perseids.
we are also with Marcel tonight. Uh, Marcel, it's uh, your first meteor shower, I think. You said you attempted it last year also? Yeah, I had some attempts uh, last year and the year okay. before, but uh, didn't really succeed. So, uh, check. This year, another try, but uh, it's not that great yet for me. I see a, a lot of them, but not on my camera. So, uh, maybe uh, back home, uh, more luck, but uh, yeah. nothing. Uh, spectacular yet uh, to at, see. At least it is clear oh, <laughs> because yeah. that's also not a given yep. uh, but yeah uh, of course uh, during the peak uh, it says that the meteors we should be seeing about 60 per hour at least the uh, internet is saying that yeah. but if you uh, the internet says you could see possibly 60 per hour it's also in the best sky conditions possible yeah. and you can't uh, watch all yeah, everywhere at the same time so if it says 60, uh, I think my camera catches maybe one or two per hour yeah, normally. Yeah. So that's about I'm, I'm what happy. to expect. <laughs> I would be happy then. <laughs> Should uh. be, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's yeah. keep on watching then. Yeah. As the night progressed, the number of meteors picked up quite a bit. There were not many fireballs though, until... Did you see that sky light up? Whoa, no, hey, kijk eens, kijk eens! Whoa! <laughs> so it's uh, picking up now. We are seeing much more meteors uh, the last half hour. Uh, Martijn and Marcel called a huge unit. Uh, the whole sky was, and also the whole ground, it was all light. Martijn uh, shot, I think, the uh, smoke trail, especially yeah, after so. it. Yeah. And Marcel, he, uh, he caught it in camera, so yeah. that was huge, that thing. So. Light beam, light beam, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, the Aurora, uh, we didn't see it yet, but um, it, uh, the figures are getting better and better and better. So maybe I'll also set up an Aurora cam, as Martijn did. <laughs> Let's see, what a night, man. So Martijn has uh, set up his second camera right here. Yeah. You call your Aurora cam. Aurora cam, yeah. But what are you seeing? Well, not that much. Not yet? No. Okay, let's hope something comes up right there in the north. While hoping for the Aurora to come out, let's keep counting those spur seeds. As I keep on vlogging, everybody's seeing meteors, as always. But I'm doing this for you guys, and maybe also a little bit for myself. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I was thinking, let's do a sky metering, because how dark is it here? Do you have any idea, Frank? No, not at all. Martijn? 2071. You didn't hear Martijn, but he said 20.71. I have the idea that it is relatively dark here, to be honest. Uh, we can see the Milky Way above really nice. Uh, Andromeda is uh, clearly visible also. There are some light pollution domes at the horizon, but hey, uh, it is the Netherlands. So um, let's uh, do a metering uh, after I turn off that light. I think it might be 21.55 or something. 20.55. Oh, 20.62 is not bad. So while we watched Pleiades rise and feasted our eyes on sickness in the zenith above us, we waited for the northern lights. And then it happened. And we're seeing Aurora. Right there. Oh wow. And Tyne is running <laughs> like a madman to a composition. <laughs> Oh, what a night. Oh, there it is. I think I'm just going to film it. Oh, wow, look at that, man. It's not extremely visible from a video camera, but it's definitely there. 
we're hearing Martijn screaming. Martijn is somewhere there on the... There's Martijn. He has a purse heat <laughs> through, through the Aurora. Holy sh... Oh, wow. I think I should... You, you should shoot now. It is bizarre. It is bizarre. It is getting huge purple pillars. <laughs> oh, we're getting mad here. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Is it focused? Yep, kind of. Oh, man. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow. Okay, these are the moments I hate that I can't run around. <laughs> And on the other hand, I'm just enjoying Marshall trying to set up his camera. <laughs> We're seeing it with the naked eye. <laughs> this is truly unbelievable. We are getting Aurora and I am not, I was not totally sure what I should do, but it is so nice. We see big pillars, we see it with the naked eye. So what I've done, I am just now uh, time-lapsing uh, with my uh, camera, which was uh, shooting the meteors. Um, it's not a good composition because I can't run around now while I'm on uh, crutches. And can you see it behind me? Uh, still purple. Oh man, the whole horizon. Wow. So yeah, I'm just doing that, making a quick time lapse. And uh, I also have my uh, other camera filming there. And I'm uh, trying to film some uh, B-roll here. And uh, now I'm going to look again that way because uh, let's see if it's still naked eye visible. It looks to be dying. No, it's not dying down. Definitely not. Oh man. <laughs> what a night, man. Sometimes astrophotography can be such a surprise. No, it wasn't dying down just yet. But what about that meteor counter? What a night, man. The Aurora has died down now a bit, so um, I've stopped my time lapse. Martijn and uh, Marcel are still shooting somewhere else on the header fields. I don't really know. I've uh, resumed, can you see it there, my camera, so that I uh, hope to capture some more uh, meteors. And uh, in the meantime, if the Aurora fires up again, maybe I'll point my camera there again. But uh, for now, chaotic, but in a very, very good way. Frank, by the way, he uh, already left. He has to uh, work tomorrow. I'm sorry, Frank, but I think you left maybe half an hour too early. Shame, but still, I hope you got some super fat pear seeds. And here it comes. Poof, just like that. We captured 96 meteors on video tonight. So while we are uh, getting Packed a bit, the aurora is dying down, but we also just seen Jupiter and Mars rising right there on the horizon. It's a little bit uh, down to the left of Pleiades. Water frame, just a little bit purple residue. 
of the Aurora, Jupiter, Mars, Martijn. What more can you wish? <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's it for today. Marcel uh, and uh, Martijn uh, behind are uh, packing up. Uh, I'm going to shoot uh, my foreground, which I uh, planned. And uh, after that, yeah, we will be back, I think, uh, at home around four o'clock. And hopefully tomorrow an even bigger trip, but possibly not with Aurora, but it doesn't matter. Day number one of the purse heats was a big, big, big success. I don't even know for sure if I've got that many purse heats, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> Beautiful night under the stars. And oh yes, part two of the purse heat hunt is definitely on its way. Stay tuned for that. But first, of course, here are the results from tonight. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Zonde dat Frank weg is gegaan. Oh, kijk dan. Hop, meteorieten doorheen. Oh, wat vet.